Welcome back to Genuine Core, guys. Uh, in the last video, we have seen how to insert uh, data into the database table having two columns. And in this video, I will show you how to uh, display the data in a Java table. So for that, we have to add a table. So from the swing controls, I'm going to add a new table for displaying the uh, name and age there are four columns and I don't want four columns I just want two columns so from the column section I'm going to remove the three and four columns and there are four predefined rows I just don't want that so I'm going to remove the uh, four rows so I have two columns and the first column will be name and the second column will be age so that's fine potentially harmful software editor so that's it uh, we got two columns and I'm going to just press close so now we got a beautiful table and we just need a button for refreshing the table so here we are a button and the text refresh so we got refresh then age and I'm going to change the variable name to table and when I press on this refresh button, I want to display the data that is present on the database to this table. So I'm going to press on the refresh button so I can write codes here. And in order to speed up the process, I'm going to take the uh, code from the previous example. So statement is TMT equals content create statement. And remember, always close your statement. So stmt.close and i'm going to copy this statement stmt equals con dot create statement and that's it now it throws some very good exceptions so sound block with try catch and control shift f so that's that is some serious errors so let's see what's the problem it says set as y okay stmt dot close and uh, let me just manually Instead of the try catch, so try. Then I want to catch it. So try catch. Then exception e. Then whenever some exception occurs, I just want to get the stat trace. So e dot print stat trace. So that's fine. Now what I want is uh, set x child from users to that is correct. And uh, this is fine. System dot out dot print daily. What I want is I want to insert the data into the table. So, uh, for we have our <coughs> table model, and uh, I'm going to create a default. This is normal Java syntax default table model. Table model equals our table, which is table dot get model. So now we will get the table model, and using the table model, we can easily insert data into the table. So I'm going to insert data into the table. So table model dot add row. So that's what we want. And here I'm going to create a new object and insert that object. For each row, I have two entries: one for name and one for age. So what's happening is I just took the table model for inserting data and using that table model I just call the add row method which will add one row at a time and the new object is just a syntax that contains two entries and if there was three entries then I will have to add that one too. So that's fine. Now let us run the program. I'm going to press shift F6 and here we have I'm going to press on this refresh button and there you can see there is genuine coder and let me add some more values to this table so select star from users or oh, it's better to insert from the program itself right so table 2 and I am going to add some new names so I have added genuine coder than Linux mint having age of um, maybe 12 then insert please so I think insert it so there is a problem I think no there's no problem insertion completed then swing the okay then Ubuntu having an age of something like 20 then insert please so insertion completed I'm just going to press on this refresh button and there you can see the three entries from our database 
So that's it guys, that's the end of this video and uh, we have learned how to represent the data from a database to a table. So thanks for watching this video, like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.